All right, we've got some new stuff to open today, and I'm just starting off with a uh, 2000, I believe that was a 9 or 10 Audi R8 for Matchbox. Um, one of my favorite models, one of my favorite castings, and this is my favorite version. Matchbox went all out on this one and did, gave it the full tampo treatment all around. I believe that that was at Audi's request. Nonetheless, showing that because that's from an era that I think we all like from Matchbox. And in this box behind us, <clears throat> we're going to open up. This is the new stuff that just came from Wheel Collectors, and there's a lot of stuff that's just like that um, in the uh, in this box, as far as I know. So we're going to open it up right now and see what's in here. A lot of times when I get stuff from Wheel Collectors, um, it comes in a way that is easy to open considering I open everything, so I have no idea what the condition will be of the packaging, but I know the model should be fine. <clears throat> okay. I'm gonna go ahead and move the camera over here. And we might have a mess on our hands, so we're gonna put it up like this. Fold this down. And we're going to see what we have. Go ahead and move the Audi. Okay, first one is a car I actually bought as part of the wheel collector's sale. Um, I wanted to feature this one. It's kind of old school, I think, in terms of... Um, what we've uh, what we like now, but this drop stars or drop I can't remember what it's called, but this Range Rover I just thought was kind of cool, and I thought it might be fun to feature. So we're going to get to that uh, at another time. But let's get to the new stuff. All right, I'm not going to try. I'm going to get through this video quickly. I'm just going to show you kind of what's come in from Matchbox, and there's some Hot Wheels in here as well. So first off is the heavy railer. Um, which is a new train casting. We'll get into that in a little bit. Dodge A100. That's the new color. All right, I'm just trying to get myself organized here. A lot of new models in this one, both 2016 and 2017 models. This is the Matchbox A case. We did a case report on the blog. Um, and um, but here are the models and we're going to do some close-ups. I've done close-ups of some of these already including the Jag Jaguar F-Type. Also in the case, we're just throwing everything down here, we got two, and this one's got a messed up blister, but two of the Jeep Cherokee Trailhawk. This is a debut. I don't know if this is, let me look at it quickly. I think these are both 2015 models, so both colors in the same case, red and blue. I've shown the blue before, that's the red, we'll get to those soon. Alright, sorry for the... The new color, that's the 2015 new color of the Alfa Romeo 4C. And here's one that I'm happy about and not happy at the same time. That's the new Land Cruiser, the new color of the Land Cruiser, um, the Toyota Land Cruiser. And as you can see, it's been modified. It's the same as the uh, Jurassic Park version, uh, modified to the front panels and the wheels are now plastic. We'll uh, dig into that a little bit too. <clears throat> Some more Hot Wheels. We'll get to... You know what? This one already started, started to come out of the blister. So let's just help it along the way. That's the new color of the Chevy Silverado. 
And then I've, a model that I've talked about before that I really like, the uh, scraper. All right, I don't know if that is all. Is one left? Oh, yeah, well, we'll just put these two together. You have the Chevy Silverado. You also have a new color on the Toyota Lifeguard pickup on the uh, Tacoma. Hopefully those are coming through there a little bit. So we've got uh, a lot of Matchbox, like I said. I think when you start looking, we'll move these over here. At the Audi, and then you add the Alpha. And the Jag, I'll just put that right here, let it have a nice little ride. You start, uh, let's move that back a little bit. You start seeing that things are coming back very, very nicely, I think, when it comes to these models. So, anyway, there's some Hot Wheels too in here. Let's get to those real quickly. Matchbox has had an issue with its blisters cracking. I think a lot of you have noticed that. I have too. Okay, first one. This is, I'm going to leave these because these don't, Hot Wheels doesn't display as well. I guess they display okay. But um, this is the new, brand new for 2016 Muscle Speeder. Modified and improved from the Project Speeder from a couple of years ago. We'll put those two together uh, probably on video and on, uh, and in the studio. That's kind of cool. That's a Rio Asada. Um, design. The Matchbox-esque Austin minivan. By far the best version because it's the cleanest version. White roof. I really like that one. <clears throat> I like this one. The Hot, the Hot Wheels Formula Solar because those are some brand new wheels on it. Kind of a moon disc type so they can do them in plastic. We'll get into that one and we'll look at it. We'll look at these new wheels close up. I wonder what kind of models we'll see that on. The new Corvette Stingray. New version that's obviously the Super Treasure Hunt as well. I don't have that. That one didn't come in this one, but that's okay. I think that looks pretty good. I think the Super is exactly the same outside of a little bit of a paint change, a TH logo, and the rubber tires. And the one that I've been looking forward to the most the Dodge Charger Hellcat, the Hellcat that's not a Hellcat because you can't call it a Hellcat because they don't want the word Hell on the card, but we can say Hell here. Um, so they're calling it what the SRT, the 2015 SRT, and because we want to, I'll just get you a preview of that one. It looks really, really nice. Let's get some close up here. Obviously some front and rear tampos would have been kind of nice, but uh, that's okay. The casting's really, really nice, and I think it definitely outshines the Challenger. Only because the Challenger, while I like it, still those, ba those large ba rear wheels still bother me. I just think it throws off the model a little bit. But... Um, they do make a nice pair, that's for sure. So, anyway, um, let's see. I think we've got, oh yeah, we've still got a few other things here. <clears throat> Bentley Continental. Super Sports. I hope people, like, people don't like the wheels, but uh, we did get some rear tampos on that, as well as front. My guess is that was a Bentley request. Let's see what else we've got here. Oh, yeah, here's some other purchases that I'm excited about from these uh, vintage cases that Matchbox has been getting. This is from the Best of Muscle series, Dodge Viper. Let's see if we can move back a little bit so you guys can see that. Best of International, Shelby Cobra. I 
And for you collectors from the Northwest, the Chevy van with a uh, Northwest feel to it. Anyway, all right, well, that's what I've got. That came from Wheel Collectors. When you do these case openings, you don't know what you're going to pull out. Hopefully, you're liking it. Ice Rim, there's a lot of fun stuff to feature here very soon. Let me know if you, what you want to see first um, in photograph form on the blog. Um, you can re refer back to see the Jag and some of the other cars that we've already featured, but it uh, seems like there's a lot of fun stuff that we can do. Talk to you later.